Hello, and welcome to a brief demonstration of the cloud-based connected backup service for laptops and desktops. Connected is generally recognized as the worldwide leader in off-site protection for Windows PCs and Macintosh PCs. The connected service has been in production for more than 10 years, and there are over 4 million PCs under protection using vaulting sites all around the world. Connected is used by small and large organizations. There are many customers with tens of thousands of protected systems, and larger customers have the ability to set up a private cloud for Connected in their own data centers. For IT, one of the benefits of Connected is its ability to simplify and streamline device replacement and data migration during PC laptop refresh, such as the migration from Windows XP to Windows 7 or Windows 8. For end users, one of the benefits of Connected is the self-service interfaces. Users can do their own restores and initiate their own backups, in addition to the backups that are automatically scheduled. Users no longer need to call the help desk or open a support ticket or remember to save their files in a backed up file share. Let's begin this demonstration by looking at the interfaces available to end users. Then we will look briefly at the support center interface that is used by administrators to manage the overall Connected deployment. A connected agent is deployed to each laptop or desktop. There is a local interface that is normally accessed via a shield icon on the taskbar. I can perform common tasks quickly by right-clicking on the icon. For example, if I save changes to a large presentation and want to be sure that it is backed up off-site securely to the cloud right now, I just right-click and choose the Backup Now choice. The connected backup process is extremely efficient due to the use of patented deduplication file system block level delta backup technology, and unique email optimizations. Backups typically take only a few minutes a day, and users don't notice the backup activity while it is running. To retrieve some files or folders, either because I deleted them or I want to get back earlier versions, I can double-click the connected shield icon or use right-click and select the retrieve option. In either case, I see the connected interface open to the retrieve tab. Instead of showing path names, Connected shows me folders that I am familiar with, desktop and documents and pictures, for example. I can browse within any of these folders or browse other backed up folders elsewhere in my system. I will open my documents directory and choose a couple of files for retrieval. Users don't always remember where files were located or what versions are available, so Connected provides a variety of search options. I can use the Find box to type in a partial file name, such as the word Sheet. If there are multiple versions of a file, by default, Connected will show them all to me. Connected keeps backup history for up to 90 days and up to 10 versions. Each version is marked with a version number, V3, V2, and V1 as you see here. With the slider, I can elect to see just the latest version of each file. I can also control what versions to search for and what file types to search for using the little drop-down arrow here in the Find box. You can see that I can arrange my search to be just files within a certain date, and I can limit to certain file types in my results. I will select two documents for recovery here and then press the Retrieve Now. Connected asks me where I want to put the files. The default is to put them in my Documents directory, but I can elect to put them back into their original locations or I could browse and choose a particular place where I want them to go. Pressing OK will start the retrieval process. and when it completes, I will get a completion window, as you see here. The question then arises, how does a user access their files if their laptop is lost or broken? Connected has an equivalent web-based interface to perform these functions. Each user has a username, password-controlled access to their account management website. I'll open mine now. I've already logged in. One of the options is My Roam which allows me to retrieve files onto any system on which I can run a browser. I can browse the contents of my backed up files and folders. I have the find function and the ability to control what versions are recovered. In addition to local retrievals and web-based retrievals, Connected offers retrieval apps for Android smartphones, Android tablets, and iPad tablets. Here, you see the Connected Retrieval app on an Android phone. 
These apps are available at no cost and allow tablet and phone users to easily retrieve files backed up with Connected and cache them on their personal devices where they can view, email, and print them. Now, let's take a look at the administrative interface that is called the Support Center interface. Connected administrators are called technicians. The Support Center interface for technicians is a web-based interface that offers the ability to manage and support user accounts and to create and run reports. Connected contains a report writer so that if the default report templates are not what you want, they can e be easily modified or entirely new report formats can be created. Technicians set up configurations to control Connected's behavior for communities of users. Commonly, a Connected deployment will have several configurations. Perhaps the backup rules and behavior for the executives needs to be a little bit different than for other employees and maybe employees in the marketing department need to have their music and video files included in their backups even though these are excluded for other users. There are four parts to a configuration the profile and website settings and then the agent versions, the agent settings, and then the rule sets. There isn't time in this demo to show all of these settings however let's take a brief look at one of the screens associated with the agent settings. I'll open up the default settings here and we'll go to the backup section. Notice that a connected technician can impose a limit on the amount of data that users can back up, but increasing or removing the limit does not result any change in cost. Connected is billed based on the number of active seats, not on the amount of data that's being protected. Now, let's jump to the rule sets. I'll open up the English data only rule set. Each rule set has both locked rules and unlocked rules. The locked rules can contain both include rules and exclude rules and are defined by the technician and cannot be overridden by users. They always take precedence. The unlocked rules are those that a user can potentially modify for their own needs. Connected allows rules based on file location within a directory structure as well as on file type. Let me scroll down for a minute and open up one of the exclude rules. Here you see a rule that excludes all the different audio file types from backup. Finally, to complete the creation of a configuration, you use the configuration screen to designate the four different parts that you want to have associated with your configuration. For each configuration you give it a name, such as configuration, possibly a description, and then via drop-downs you can select what agent version, what agent settings, what profile and website settings, and what rule set you want to associate with this configuration. For each configuration that you create, there's a URL that's associated with it. Technicians can hand this out to individual users so that they can register and begin using Connected under this configuration. Technicians can also elect to download this configuration and then push it out to the laptops and desktops for different members of their communities. This concludes a brief connected demo. There are other options and settings of interest in a production environment and we encourage you to learn more or to try connected for yourself. Thank you.